All right, so basically, here's what's happening right now. A guy from Jen's past has reached out to one of our producers. It's obviously not normal. It's very unexpected. Uh, I'm told that he has flown himself halfway around the world here to New Zealand on his own dime um, just to have a conversation with Jen. So his flight apparently has landed about an hour ago. He's on his way to the hotel here right now. I'm sure this guy is absolutely exhausted. My plan is to meet him here at his hotel, talk to him, uh, find out what it is he wants to say to Jen. The truth is, we just don't have a lot of time. We're, we're basically halfway through Jen's season right now. She's already hitting on off with a lot of these guys, and we literally have a rose ceremony in a matter of hours. So time really is, I think, of the essence right now. Now, as for Jen, she is over at the harbor somewhere, not far from here. She's shooting with her producers. It's what she'd normally be doing right now. And Jen, of course, has no idea this guy has shown up. And as for the guys, they're back at their hotel right now, and they're getting ready for tonight's rose ceremony. Uh, this, this could be the guy. So we're just going to let this thing play out and see what happens. I think he's, uh, he's going to be here any minute now. Hey man, how you doing? I'm doing well, how are you? Matt, I'm Jesse. Jesse, nice to it's meet you. Good to meet your brother, you too. Um, look, my goal is just to kind of meet you here and just talk to you a little bit, is that okay? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, I do want to say I'm totally impressed. It's not every day we see a guy just get on a plane, fly himself halfway around the world for a shot at love. And at the end, all of us just want what's best for Jen. Yep. Maybe that's you. So help me understand how you two know each other. Yeah, so Jen and I uh, dated about three years ago dated for about three or four months. Since then, have found ourselves back together throughout the past few years. And when she got up and left, it just felt like I couldn't just let her go. And now I'm here to tell Jen that I still love you and that I'm here to show you that and whatever I have to do to earn that trust back and here to see if there's a future with us. I'll tell you what, right now, Jen's very close by. She's over at the harbor, she's filming with our producers. Our people can walk you over there to have a conversation with her. And okay. I hate to do this, and I hate to put you on the spot, but there is a rose ceremony literally in a couple of hours. So if you want to have this conversation, you got to go do it right now. Yeah. Just head out to the left here towards the harbor. Okay. Our people will take you to her, OK? All right, thank you, Jesse. Good luck. I'll need it. I can't, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't, I can't. Are you expecting to see me? Are you expecting someone How else? How are you here right now? What? <laughs> what are you doing here? What is going on? I was really looking forward to this trip to Colombia with you, and I went for a few days, and it wasn't the same without you there, and I blew off both the weddings, and... You left the weddings? Yes. Yeah, I didn't go to any of them. I flew here from Cartagena to be here with you. It's been a 24-hour journey. I couldn't, I couldn't go to the weddings without you. Ah, uh, Matthew, what are you doing? I feel both a little bit nervous, a little bit excited. We were in love, and I think a part of us will always be in love. And for me, it's just never been so strong. Me being here, hopefully, is one step in the right direction to proving to her how much she means to me and how serious I'm taking this. I'm not ready to just let you go and, and get engaged without telling you that I still have really strong feelings for you more now than ever. And so I'm just asking that you just give me the chance to show you how much this all means to me. Like what, you're ready to get engaged? I'm ready to do it. 
Matthew. This is my ex-boyfriend. For him to come here, I think it's just a big shock. We dated three years ago. Matt is not the toxic ex I'm referring to. He is not the one who messed me up a little bit. That's a different ex. We would recently reconnected in the past few months as friends, or so I thought, as friends. Like, I just, I'm, I'm so confused what his intentions are. We've had so many chances. We've been through a lot. And I'm just, I feel like this is coming out of nowhere. I mean, you don't feel like the last, say, few months have, have felt different to you. I feel like we've been able to connect on a deeper kind of level in that you are one of the most important people in my life. You know me more than anyone else in the world. And I'm not ready to let it all go. You know you could have said this before I left. I, I did say it, but I didn't say it as grandly as this, I guess. I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. I just, I, I'm um, overwhelmed, I guess, I think. You are, like, someone who is important in my life. Um, I'm just, I'm confused. Yeah, I really care strongly for you. And I know it's not the first time I've said this, and I really hope it's not the last. But I really do love you, and I really hope... Matthew! <laughs> I do, I do. My intentions are to be with you, and I want to continue this journey together. So you want to, like, date me and my 10, 12, 11 other boyfriends? Uh, I mean, dating just you would be great, but <laughs> come along for the ride. I would love to join you, for me to prove to you how much you mean to me, to express to you how much I still strongly care for you. Give me a second. Matt coming here just it confuses me and it, it breaks me out of my head a little bit. There are people here that I have really strong feelings for and I am afraid of what it might stir up in some of these guys and how they might feel about it. But I also know Matt a lot better than I know these guys that I've just met a couple weeks ago. He's someone I care about. I have a difficult decision to make and I don't know where my heart is pulling me.